Singapore might be a tiny country, but I tell you what, it packs a mighty big culinary punch. All the best chefs are here. They're standing toe to toe. They're fighting it out for the region's culinary favor. We're here with Ryan Cliff, chef owner, my old friend, my old pal. How are you, buddy? <laughs> Good, man. You're gonna get some, well, nice, you're gonna push in. In, uh, Tetsuya's kitchen, Waku Gin. Not everyone gets to be in here and learn from the master. This is the Snake River Farms tenderloin. Happy chicken. When you're cooking honestly and you're not doing any gimmicks and you're just cooking food that comes from your heart, and that's what Moza is. Well, the most important thing about beef is the resting. You have to come here and try this. It's amazing. I've never really had frog like that. Understanding which things work really well together um, yeah. to try to amplify that dish or amplify that cocktail. This cocktail is called Mumbai Colada. And here we are at the Marina Bay Sands, and we're off to see the golden boy of Singapore cuisine, Justin Quick, at Sky 57. What we're going to have is one of Chef Justin's um, Asian inspired cocktail. All my team is, uh, is local, is Asian, and this is very important for me because uh, our guest is uh, local. Working with Wolfgang for so long, everything. If we can make it, we will make it. Hopefully those things are enough to trap people into actually venturing a bit more, you know, being a bit more yeah. uh, gutsy about food. I'm gonna show you a few techniques presenting a plate in a perfect way. Everything at Tipling Club you're gonna see it's very eclectic. My menu is inspired by my life's travels, by where, what I've seen, what I've eaten. I don't specifically stick to one style of cooking, so I draw inspiration from everywhere. We need a more pan, so that would be good. You have to work <laughs> it. <laughs> In 2011, I started this concept of edible art. So, yeah. so the paintings oh, behind it are all made of chocolate. The, the, the concept is very, it's very simple. Spanish food. We mix traditional tapas with Bangladesh tapas. Here we are at Sunrise Global Chef Academy, and we're here to meet Kendrick Delaney. And this extraordinary thing behind me is the Marina Bay Sands, and inside are five of the top chefs that we're covering on the Tote 12 Singapore. People come, they bring friends from overseas, come here for the view and well, have some local food. Yeah. Try the Degu Stasso menu, like what we created. Every week we go to the market yeah. and we try to bring in some different ingredients you know, okay. and try to use them in our kitchen. I spent close to one year to uh, look at what kind of product I wanted to bring and what are the suppliers I wanted to work with. We were midway through service, but the attention to detail was still there. It's still very controlled, it's very calm in there, everything's organized. I was more interested in how to do things, why is this product better than this product? Yeah. And there was the French people who changed me, and yeah. uh, was particularly the chef. It was always a huge goal of mine to work for uh, Chef Daniel Balut. I'm a French chef, but I've been living in New York for three decades. Whenever we open a restaurant, we want to be the best there is in our class. Make it a truly unique experience. Hey, hey boys. Strong gentlemen. Man. What's going on, my yeah, friend? All good. How are you? you know, I'm just Cheers guys, I appreciate it. Had a wonderful time here and I'll be back. I'll be seeing you next time on the Tote 12. Good night. Salute. I don't this toast to my boy to be.